Well, here we are. We got quite the big video ahead of us. There's many things I want to overhaul and upgrades I want to make on the Drift 350Z build. However, with a background in not much other than gaming, I've got quite a bit to learn, such as TIG welding stainless steel, plus more. No qualifications and little to no experience. So without further ado, let's have a crack and put this 38 hour to use. BennySearch.com Go now, while well, there's still time. G'day. Back we are. Back from a successful weekend away, beach drifting. So what's the damage? Overall, not much. But I'm going to take a look underneath the body and suss it out. So as you can see, good exhaust, very good. That has been absolutely chomped by the road and speed bumps, potholes, you name it. So I'm gonna redo this exhaust. I'm gonna make use of the pipe again. Getting rid of the cannon, it sits too low. So I'm just gonna have like a straight pipe just coming out, just welded to this. I'm gonna cut these fucking flange, these two flanges off. So it's just one pipe welded. That way we won't have this underhang hitting the ground. And then I might weld it so it kind of wraps around a bit away from the diff. As you can see, it's pretty well touching. And then we've got these test pipes, which will get rid of the two cats here. So that'll add a nice trumpet. We're just gonna embrace the trumpet. Not too much trumpet, just enough. I'm not gonna do headers, cause fuck that. But yeah, otherwise, after the drift event, it's pretty good under here, except for the drive shaft boot has been compromised. Tar and everything from the road, just everywhere. There's rocks just have a one with the car now. Couldn't have asked for a better drift event than that. Beautiful, no damage, no big crashes. Get a load of these. Yeah, fucked they are. Shredded by the rocks. That is a very spectacular. That's that's the steering right there. Um, this one's this one's alright. But um, yeah, I mean that could have been bad. If the tie rod fully gave way, then this wheel would have just went. You know, would have had two wheels facing different directions. Could have been a bit dangerous on the old beach tug. <laughs> Alrighty, it was now time to attempt fabricating and welding an exhaust system from salvaged material. I had a little play with TIG welding prior to this, so I'm going into this with a few hours of experience. First things first, I've taken off the midsection of the exhaust because I want to modify it so it sits slightly higher away from the ground and curves away from touching the diff.
now got a rough idea of where I want the pipe to go. So I'll go ahead and do some tack welds. Then I'll go weld it all together. Holy fuck, this is epic. These welds looking like pure anus, but it should work. Sweet as. Now that the midsection was made, I moved on to fabbing up the rear end section of the exhaust. Now that the midsection and the rear section are connected, I'm going to remove the catalytic converters and install these aftermarket 350Z test pipes. Alrighty, 
as we can see. Modified the test pipes, just drilled some holes. So that looks better now. We're gonna mount these up, gonna put some RTV on it. Hopefully it seals it okay. I've never done this before. The test pipes were on, now to chuck back on the wire pipe and pray everything lines up, putting it all together. And it didn't line up. Off came the midsection again, where I had to make an extension. And it still didn't fucking line up. But that's okay. I made another cut and re-welded it. Alright, that should be close enough. Now, I need to hang the end section of the exhaust somehow. So I'm just going to salvage the hanger off the old cannon muffler. Bit of a weird looking fucking exhaust hanger, isn't it? But it took a few goes to get it right. So these test pipes are apparently made for a 350Z. Look how fucking low they sit. Ah. Keep in mind, these are on ramps. It's not that big. That is almost, once it's off the ramps, that'll almost touch the ground. That's fucked. So I'm gonna have to modify those test pipes. I should have just made them myself from the get go. Oh yes. Good stuff. At this point, I was starting to get a bit heated because I had to refabricate the exhaust many times to get it to work. But hey, that's just part of learning, isn't it? Yeah, so I think these test pipes were made to connect to aftermarket headers, I assume, not the stock ones. So I modified it to suit. The test pipes were modified and sitting way better in height. Now I'm foreseeing this exhaust is probably going to be too fucking loud. So I've purchased a resonator to be fabbed somewhere into the exhaust system. Putting it all together now. However, the end section is angled out too far to the right, so I'll modify the hanger to pull the exhaust in the other direction.
beauty. Sitting much nicer there. The exhaust is also clearing everything fairly nicely also. Now that it was all fully fabricated, it's time to go and weld it all out. Looking back on it, I didn't really make it easy for myself. Look at the size of these fucking gaps between the pipe. If it works, it works. You know the deal. It's a drift car. But it's not over yet. We haven't crossed the finish line. So we're gonna make sure it fits again. Cause all that heat would have warped the metal. So look, I don't know how much it would have warped it, but I'm fucking praying. So, mounted everything up. This tip is just touching the bumper. Um, we don't want it to rub because that will just melt the bumper over time. We need to bring it this way and down a bit. Cleared the gap between the diff. Uh, clear all this, that. Come along here. Just misses the tail shaft. Although it is kind of just sitting on this bar, but I mean, it should be fine. Come along here. All right, that. Just clearing. Just clearing. Just clearing there as well. And yeah, there we go. Pretty fucking happy with that. That was a lot of fucking around to get it to that point. First exhaust system done. Bush mechanics. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. It's doing it. That's pretty good. Yeah, good enough. Let's free it up a few bit. Fucking The moment of truth. How does it sound? I mean, you're in a shed. Yeah, I guess it. But that's like 
What was that in your 3,000 reps? And that was fucking almost unbearable. It was like 3, 4. That actually hurt my ears. Sounds way too loud. Haven't even properly driven it yet, or even given it the berries. show you how beautiful this thing sounds flat battery you gotta be uh, can't. it takes me like 10 minutes to get out of this seat the alleged culprit responsible for all of this. No, actually this is the real culprit. So since I'm removing the test pipes, it's going to mess up how the exhaust system currently lines up and connects together. So I'm going to have to make some modifications to the fab work and while I'm at it, I'm going to make it so the end section sits slightly lower away from the bumper to stop it from melting. I'm also going to remove the two low hanging flanges and connect the two sections together to help stop the exhaust from hitting the ground. Now since we've put the cats back on, we will need to realign and refab the midsection to suit the wire pipe. After many back and forths, taking the exhaust on and off, I finally lined it up enough. Hallelujah. Fucking hell. And at last, it was time to weld the adjustments all out.
once again, the moment of truth. One day I was thinking about trying to be a YouTuber. Yeah? Yeah. Keep cool. Yeah. Give up. Well, not much progress there. Fuck. Cars just low as fuck. Car just dropped its guts. better than it was before. Overall, I'm pretty happy with where the exhaust is at now. It'll be good for track use, but I might have to invest in a Varex exhaust one day so I can remote control how loud it is. Moving on, the faded paint and the yellow headlights need a bit of love. So we're gonna have a crack at restoring them ourselves. The headlights came up absolutely mint. Now to attempt bringing some gloss black back into the faded black paint using a combination of wax, compound and polish. We're just going to experiment. Experimentation. I way to find out, bro. <laughs> there we go again. It doesn't help there's wax underneath. You try polishing? Might as well. Come out. I mean, about the same. Still better than this, bro. See, that's hot. That's hot. Oh. That's where the paint melts. That's, that's <laughs> where you do it. 
focus up here. The burger plate. Thanks to Steve-O, Panos and Zoe for helping. After a fair bit of time using elbow grease, rubbing the panels down, it actually came up a lot better than it was. Still far off being good, but at the end of the day, it's a drift car. Now you might notice, there's still a bit of leftover wax stuck on some panels, which I'll have to rub off when I get time. But for now, it was time to head up to the boys over at Shockworks. We are booked in for the next drift event. This time, it will be the 350's first time on a track. I tell you what, I was very keen on a track day in it, as I'll be able to drive at 100% and see what the 350 is capable of, and myself, for that matter. Let's rumble. How much of this do we actually still know what I know as the podcast? Do you want to do something easy first, or what do we do? Yeah, get handbrake done first, and then. So how are you? Are you going to do an intro? Are you going to like? What do we? How do you want to start this shit? Uh, just like how we usually do it. We we'll just start. Just in, fucking right? do it. Yeah. This episode's brought to you by um, Audi Pro Multi Purpose Cleaner. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we're cleaning the bench pretty good. Yep. Thanks, guys. We got the big guys on board. McDonald's is next. <laughs> Shall I start writing? Process. Where's your do marker? Do it with a multi a permanent marker. Assert dominance. Permanent? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actual? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't start on my left, mate. Come just, on. Just, mate, just testing it, mate. Just Penis next to one thing and then put a vagina next to the next thing. Oh. Fucking no, it's three. Fucking unbelievable. Alright, so hydro. Well, across is a bleep. Nah, you're alright. You, you got good intentions, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Roof racks. Rex. Make rear shocks not shit. You can write that, please. Write that? Yep. Shit. In brackets, currently shit. Yeah. Tyres. So I think that's it, eh? Um, mm. Oh, traction arms. Traction arms. Actually, we'll do that this afternoon. First things first, the most important addition to the drift build. The hydro handbrake. As you may have seen on the beach drift video, the stock handbrake was not cutting it. That thing was fucking shit. Chris then began mounting the second pair of brake calipers. While I 
tackled mounting the hydro handbrake itself. We're going for that sleek streetcar build, so I opted for the in trim design where you can merge the handbrake within the interior trims. Oh, standard trims. It was actually a bit sad seeing my car, how I picked it up, and now looking at it now and be like, why did I pull so much fucking interior out of it? <laughs> yeah. Right. Do you want to set up the. Yeah, nice. This old beautiful contraption. <laughs> Alrighty. Maybe. Okay. It's got shit loads of grip, yeah? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's go so, What I propose is we actually bring the spring rate up, make the rear square up. And then worst case, we drop the tire pressure down if we ever want more grip. At Bayside, we had it pretty low, but that was because- um, Oh yeah, no, that was, that was just yeah, fucked. completely fucked, yeah. Big Rudy, mate. What you been up there, man? All right, guys, got a quick public service announcement. As of recently, the beloved Bella here on the left has sadly passed away. I didn't know you for too long, mate, apart from stepping in your dog shit and witnessing you getting abused by the other dogs. You were a good dog, and you gave me good company. Rest in peace, Bella. You will be missed. I worked on assembling the handbrake all together. Thanks to having a nice little GK Tech tutorial, it made it quite simple. Yes, yeah, sweet. Cheers. Here's that look. Have a look at the oh, other one. Nice. Like I've had to fucking dig these out, you fucking <laughs> cunt under it. Nice. You, you've got little rocks stuck in there. Hey, guys, guys. That's your point. Did you your fucking dog? Dude, 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 yummy, bro. Come put your shocks All down. All for you, fucker. mate. All for you. Well, sick. Did you do that yourself? Yeah, bro. I'm a big boy now. Yeah, nah. This thing's gotta come out. Rest in peace. No more music. Well, for now. Yeah. And he's taking that up in my old 31. The red oh, wow. Yeah. Old squad. Yeah. Where's your Supra? Oh, it's Grandpa. <laughs> 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 really nice. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Fun fact this man right here, Adam Pater, won a freaking Supra. You winning, Benny? Yeah, getting there. Doing the um. Oh, the hydro shit? Yeah, like inside interior. Oh, okay. So it should like pop up through the yep. plastic, so it should be wrong. Oh, what's this? Pitbull, yeah. Hey bro, oh, I'm gonna you're pull. Ripping that out. Yeah, I have to. Weight reductions? <laughs> no, no, this mofo <laughs> hits it. I'm spewing, oh, no. mate. I love the oh, stereo. Oh, what's gonna happen when we need the cheese? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> what's the um? Pitbull Planet Pit. What a fucking seat is this? Was it in the car? Yeah. Dang, <laughs> Handbrake was roughly mounted into position. Before I notch out a hole in the interior trim to fit around the handbrake, I moved on to running the hydraulic brake line to connect to those 
two new brake calipers, Chris was mounting. What's the plans for tonight? I'm probably gonna go suck my own tick. The fuck are you struggling with? Cause you like you having a the time. I'm fine bro, I'm just taking me time. Why isn't it in you? I'm learning at the same time, all right, Jimmy Butters. You've attached it to a bracket. What are you talking about? I'm learning. I'll come back tomorrow. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Fuck yeah, me. Don't don't come back ever again. <laughs> Paint <Yeah>. your car. <laughs> fuck off. And fuck off, please. <laughs> Beautiful. Brand new fucking. Brand new bumps, well, brand new second hand bump stops. Yep. 10 and 180 spring. So what have you done different to these? You made uh, them stiffer? We changed the valving. So you added damping force into the rebound. She had a pyramid stack, which actually we found gives like more high speed. Um, compression, oh, force I should say, sorry. Did you add yep. pump to this? Uh, I know what that means. Yeah. Yeah, I got Use the ring banner, brother. I'll find it easier, brother. What, you then using the turning it around and using the other end? Yeah, at the moment, yeah. Until I fully start talking. <laughs> Let me, leave me alone, Jimmy. <laughs> you can't, we would have fired you. That's fine, mate. Lucky I work for myself. Oh, oh are you hiring? Not you, Jimmy Butters. Nah, you. you. The fucking lazy way, mate. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, no, it's all, uh, Let's have a look. Mount a T-piece somewhere. Well, we had a quick break. Jimmy wanted to show me the absolute fucking beast. Back we were. Through with the brake. Finished running the line for Chris to hook up. Yeah, this is definitely the, the way to go. The way to do it. Yeah, this is well thought out. Went my fucking shin sniff. My little fucking shin sniffer. But before we go finalising the hydro setup, we had a busted CV joint to address on the rear left drive shaft. How do you those last three fucked up? Mm -hmm. No, I'll hold this then, I'll do it. So does tape actually hold it? I don't fucking know, can <laughs> All I'm doing is trying to get grease past the bearing, just pushing it down, keeping it nice and moist. And then I'm going to clean this seal, and then I'm going to take the cunt. <laughs> it's going to hold it. Did you get a spare sh shaft? No. What? No. You don't have a spare shaft? No. I told you to get a spare shaft, mate. Spare shaft? You need a fucking drive, remember? Because this is broke. You... Cunt, what happens if this blows up? It will mm. blow up. I thought you said, oh, shit. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, it might hold for fucking ages, or it might fail. Look at him. Look at him helping himself with the dust boots. What? Just like he helps himself to Bella. We don't want to tape it all the way in because otherwise it's going to pull itself apart. Yeah. I reckon that. What I can do is it'll close up, but it won't once it's... Fucking make up your mind. Lift, cunt. What are you doing? You keep fucking <laughs> rubbing. Tell you if it's you got to fucking, fucking keep twisting it. Because it's like, it's, it's almost blocked out, bro. Like I'm telling you. Because if it's actually, yeah, like that. I can close this up. Now, how long does the internet reckon this is going to last? <laughs> <laughs> Your drive gel is perfect. Two days left until the drift event. We had to get a move on. The 
boys finalized the hydro setup, bled the system, and then reinstalled the freshly tuned shocks. Took my car off the hoist and put Chris's on, as he's got his own modifications to finish before the drift event. It was time to test out the new shocks. Hey, going here, brother. I got one hot dog. All right. Oh, now he's saying food. Fuck. So Thought he was talking about exhaust. Yeah, like Do you reckon it needs a muffler? Yep. Now, this drift build couldn't be considered the ultimate street track car without the ability to transport spare wheels and tyres to a track day, could it? Over the top of the bracket and then that goes over the top of that. Way lift up. Big birthday, is it? How old you turn, mate? Uh, 24. 24? Yeah. Happy birthday, mate. Thank you. Fucking nice. Wait, just the number one delivery driver, number one. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Trying About the same. Is this, is this pain, is it? Yeah, it's black. Oh, cool. Oh yeah. Holy fuck, this thing's a fucking Oh yeah, you're a fucking dog, are you? Jesus. Oh. Oh, what's going on here, bro? Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. Here we had it. The roof racks were fully mounted. Nearing towards the end of the second last day before the drift event, we had to fit and change many tyres. We're going to need all the tyre we can get this upcoming event.
little time remaining, we got some of that leftover wax off the paint and then quickly moved onto fitting more tires. That'll be close. Well, wait, there's no rims in there. So what am I doing? Just feeling it. Just, just have a tug. Oh yeah. Is that right? Oh, Ooh, it nice. works. Oh yeah. Oh jeez. Better he's than already, He's already grinning. He's like, oh man. You don't have to dislocate your elbow. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting back here. How's that, eh? Yeah, it's good. Yep. Yeah, fucking nice. Good stuff, Timmy. Now that the hydro setup is fully functional, I had to top it off with that interior trim. How the fuck am I going to do this? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, close. So yeah. It's like about there. Yeah. Now I see this whole bracket. Fuck. Yeah, just, I'll give you a hand file. Yeah. So like probably out there and then... Since I had the car on the hoist, I gave it a quick oil change. Tested if the cunt works? No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Gee whiz, was I struggling to get the interior to mount up correctly with the handbrake? Time was ticking. Instead, I moved on to finalising the essentials to leave. Packing. Yeah. How long did it have to be? So it was like, yep. That's it. Yeah. Spokes are fucking like even. Oh, dude. What? Wow! Like, I've given up. That's just too close, man. This trim is so fucked now. It is what it is. We're gonna leave. We're already late, so we're gonna start heading to seven hour drive. Chris has already left, so let's fucking go. While I finished packing, his name of Jeff came in clutch and zip tied the dash in for the time being. Oh, yeah. That's better. Zip tied in. Fuck yeah. Oh, it'll last us. We done did it. A new hydro handbrake, roof racks, traction arms, refreshed shocks, an oil service, restored headlights, a DIY detail and a DIY stainless exhaust system. All done just in the nick of time for the weekend away. Oh, and of course, the professionally repaired drive shaft. Ready for another seven hour drive ahead.